The Harappan culture was followed by another great civilization and culture known as Vedic culture. The majority of historians accept the period between 1500 BCE to 600 BCE as the Vedic age. It has been divided into two parts for the sake of convenience and better understanding. The period, early period, that is between 1500 BCE to 1000 BCE when the Aryans had composed hymns of Rig Veda only is regarded as the early Vedic age while the period between 1000 BC to 600 BC when the Aryans prepared large larger part of their religious texts has been called the later Vedic age. Aryans developed Vedic culture based on Vedas and the meaning of the word Veda is knowledge. The best of knowledge in the eyes of Hindus. It is a collection of hymns, prayers, charms, litanies and sacrificial formula. There are four Vedas, namely Rig Veda, Sam Veda, Yajur Veda and Atharva Veda. The origin of the Aryans is controversial. Different scholars have expressed different opinions regarding the original homeland of the Aryans. The Indian nationalist leader Bal Gangadhar Tilak first expressed the view that the Aryans were the indigenous people of India. He tried to support his arguments on the basis of Vedas. Many other Indian scholars, uh, namely Ganga Nath Cha, D. S. Kala, Avinash Chandran Das, Rajwali Pandit, had supported this view. They all have maintained that India is the homeland of the Aryans, though they have differed in describing their original place of habitation in India. According to them, it was either Brahma Rishi Desh, Kashmir, Punjab and Ganga's Jamuna, Dob or Uttar Pradesh. These scholars have tried to justify their connections on various grounds. They argue that Vedic literature gives no description of any other land or country outside India. The central feature of the Aryan religious life was sacrifice of animals to the gods and the practice which originated in North Punjab and the rivers and the mountains, the climate, the jungles and the rest described in Vedic literature are all Indian. Yet the contention of these scholars is not accepted by the majority of scholars. Probably this view has been upheld as a reaction against the view expressed by Western scholars that the original home of the Aryans was Europe. Well, Several Western scholars have maintained that Europe was the original homeland of the Aryans. Their first argument is that there is definite affinity between Sanskrit, the literary language of the Aryans, and some of the principal languages of Europe like Latin, Greek, English, and German, which suggest the Indian Indo-Aryans are migrants from Europe. The idea was first conveyed by Sir William Jones in his address to the Ascetic Society of Bengal in 1786. He maintained that language like Greek, Latin, Gothic, Celtic, Persian and Sanskrit have the same source of origin. While there is another set of scholars who have argued that Central Asia was the original home of the Aryans. Max Muller supported this argument. He claimed that the Aryans migrated from Central Asia because of certain economic and geographical regions. One group of them established itself in Iran, while the other group marched as far as India. There is similarity of gods. These scholars maintain that the climate of the original homeland of the Aryans ought to have been such where the cow and the horse, the principal animals of the Aryans could be found and exist and such climate existed only in Central Asia. Therefore, different opinions have been expressed by the different scholars regarding the original home of the Indo-Aryans and still there is no consensus. However, the majority is of the view that the great steppe land which is stretched from Poland and South Russia is to Central Asia was inhabited by the Aryans. The Aryan invasion of India was not single concerted action but one covering centuries. The Dravidians who were then occupants of India resisted them and a fierce and protracted struggle ensued. Aryans came to India in several waves. The earliest wave is represented by the Rig Vedic people who appeared in the subcontinent in about 1500 BC. 
they came into conflict with the indigenous inhabitants called the Dravidians, mentioned as Dasa or Dasyus in Rig Veda. The Rig Veda mentions the defeat of Sambara by Devodasa who belonged to the Bharata clan. Some of the chief tribes of the period were Yadu, Turvasu, Juhuyu, Anupuru, Guru, Panchala, Bharata and Tritsu. And among the inter-tribal conflicts, the most important was the Battle of the Ten Kings. During the early stage of their settlement in India, the Aryans had composed only Samhitas or hymns of the Rig Veda. Therefore, the only source of early Vedic culture is the Rig Veda. There is no unanimous opinion among scholars regarding the period of its composition. However, the majority of scholars accept that most of its hymns were composed between 1500 and 1000 BC. Although many of its hymns might have been composed a century or two later, the Rig Veda gave us the idea about the political, social, economic and cultural life of the people during the early Vedic age. The administrative machinery of the islands in the Rig Vedic period worked with the tribal chief in the center. He was called Rajan. Although his boast was hereditary, we have also some traces of election by the tribal assembly called the Samiti. The king was called the protector of his tribe. He protected its cattle, fought its war, and offered prayers to gods on its behalf. Several tribal assemblies such as the Sabha, Samiti, Vidata, and Gana mentioned in the Rig Veda exercise. Deliberate military and religious functions. Every woman attended the Sabha and Vidatha in Rig Vedic times. But from the political point of view, important were the Sabha and Samiti. In the day-to-day -day administration, the king was assisted by a few functionaries. The most important functionary seems to have been Purohita. The two priests who played a major part in the time of Rig Veda were Vasistha and Viswamitra. The next important functionary seems to be the Senani. The officer who enjoyed authority over the pasture ground was called Vrajapati. He led the heads of the families called Kulapas or the heads of the fighting hordes called Gramanis to battle. In Son, the state was called the Rastra. The head of the Rastra was called Rajan or the king. Rastra was divided into Janas. The officers of a Jana were called Gop. Every Jana was divided into smaller units called Visa. The administrative head of a Visa was called Vispati. The smallest unit was the village called Brahma, whose chief officer was Brahmani. The village consisted of a group of families or Kulas. The head of Kula or family was called Kulapati or Grahapati.